Hello, my YouTube friends. It's Karen. I'm back for a couple of quick updates. Um, first, let me update you on Barbara and Marty. Um, on I talked to Barbara on Friday night, and she told me that she was leaving Saturday morning to go to New Hampshire uh, to stay with her daughter, Suzanne, and she was driving up with her daughter-in-law. Marty was being transferred by ambulance to a rehab in New Hampshire. Um, and his son was accompanying him in the ambulance. So it was his son's wife that's driving Barbara up to New Hampshire. And um, his son was accompanying Marty to the rehab in New Hampshire. Uh, Marty will probably be in there. They don't know how long. It's going to be a while because um, he has a lot to recuperate from with just his injuries. And they found out from it was either an MRI or a CT scan, and I forget which one Barbara told me, that he did have uh, some minimal brain damage to the frontal lobe from the jolt that he took. And it was like, they call it, I guess, brain shearing. But what it does, it was in the frontal lobe, so that controls his memory and his cognitive skills. So he's having a little trouble uh, sometimes knowing where he was. He gets confused. Sometimes he can be clear as a bell, but other times he's confused. They are um, assuring him and her that this should clear up in time, but it might take a while. That's why there hasn't been any date set for how long he will be in a rehab. Barbara, on the other hand, with her torn rotator cuff of her right arm, and of course she's right-handed, her arm's in a sling, she can't move, she's limited on what she can do. So that's why she did... Um, uh, choose to stay, or her daughter wanted her to stay, with her up in New Hampshire. And it, it will be actually a little bit closer to the rehab that Marty's going to also. But Barbara really needs to help. She has that next brace for at least six to eight weeks of that. And then they're going to check her spine. And she's still on uh, with a cane for her damage to her knee, so it's going to take a little bit of time, but again, for, for such a horrible accident, they really had probably the best outcome possible. I mean, they could have died. That was bottom line. They were extremely lucky that they did not die in the accident when they were thrown from the bike. So that's just, if you can, continue to keep them in your thoughts and prayers so that, um, yeah, we'll just hope that the recovery will go as scheduled and maybe even a little faster than scheduled. Okay. Now, as most as some of you saw from another video that I posted, we were away on a four-day, four-night stay at Walt Disney World at um, Port Orleans Riverside, and we had a lovely time. During that stay, that was October 27th, to we left Disney World on Halloween, and we continued on to a friend's house that I used to work with in Ocala, Florida. And she lives in a, she and her husband live in a 55 plus community called Top of the World. 
in Ocala. It's, a, it's like the villages, for any of you that know anything about 55-year-old retirement communities in Florida. The villages is one of the biggest, and there's like 90,000 senior citizens running around. Uh, <laughs> we had originally thought about moving into the villages, and um, when I got sick, that idea was put on hold, but we started looking about four years ago. And I get periodic stuff from the villages. And um, so when I made a connection with my, with Jerry, the nurse I used to work with, uh, she said, why don't you come up and see Top of the World? She said, you, you might not like it. It's not the same as the villages, but it's, it's run kind of the same. Well, we got up there on Halloween, we looked around the area, we went out to dinner, and the next morning, her husband called the realtor that sold them their house for me, and um, I told her what I was looking for. She printed up um, a description of houses and the price range we were looking, and in the neighborhood that we wanted to be in, uh, that I'd seen when Jerry and Tony took us around. Well, she had a house she arranged uh, to come. That we called her at like nine in the morning. By ten, she was meeting at her at the house that I wanted, meeting us at the house that I wanted to see. To make a long story short. I fell in love with the house. I fell in love with Top of the World. For any of you that would like to find out about it, Google Top of the World, Ocala, Florida. Look at the website. I like it better than the villages. I like it better than the villages because it's a lot smaller. Right now they have between 6,000 and 7,000 residents there. It will hold up to 30,000, but it's not built up yet. But the area that I'm looking in is already built up. So, and I'm not looking anymore. I'll cut to the chase. We walked through this house that I wanted to see. I liked it from the minute I saw curb appeal. I loved it. I walked in the front door. I looked around. And I said to Charlie, I love this house. I said, I want this house. I love it. Uh, I like the layout. The house itself needed a little TLC. It needs all new carpet where there is carpet. And I'm not going to put carpet in because we have animals. So I'm putting in either laminate or tile. I'm going to have to think about that. Because, bottom line... Uh, we left the realtor at like 11 in the morning. Uh, we left Jerry's house at 12. We were home by 6 Friday night, picked up the animals, uh, thought about it Friday night, and Saturday morning I called the realtor and said we wanted to put in an offer on the house. She spent all day, because I'm not computer savvy, and she helped us do the initial purchase and sales agreement, uh, offer agreement, excuse me. Uh, we submitted that at about 5.30 at night. I heard at 3 o'clock today they had accepted our offer, which, frankly, I didn't think we had a prayer of, because we haven't even put our house on the market yet. We don't know when our house is going to sell. So we put it in, a, in, the, per, in the offer agreement subject to sale of our home and for a 90-day closing on that home. They accepted that, no problem. Um, we got it at a price that... In fact, the realtor, when I submitted the offer, she said, I don't think this is going to fly simply because it was the house was in probate and in a state sale and she didn't think that the people would be willing to wait another 30 days to hold off the final pa paper passing 
So she said, I don't think, you, you know, she said, you might have trouble with the offer. And I said to her, well, I don't care. This is, this is the offer I want to make. If they don't take the offer, I'm going to put my house up immediately now and we'll get it so, sold as soon as possible. And the minute it's sold, we will be back down with money in hand and um, I know the neighborhood I want to live in and I know the model house I want to live in. And there are always, as she ensured me, uh, home mod, uh, the particular floor plan that I like, there's always homes available of that model all the time. So it's a popular model. So, you know, she said there's usually one on the market at all times anyway throughout the the uh, community. So, 3 o'clock today, she called me up. She said, I have good news and bad news. And I said, well, give me the bad news. And she said, you're going to need a blue pen. <laughs> and I knew exactly what that meant because we had uh, signed initial doc our offer paperwork with black ink. And she said that the particular community requires things to be in blue ink. And I don't have a pen that writes blue. I only have pens that write black. So she said, don't worry about it. We'll submit the offer. If they accept it, then we'll worry about you signing it next to where you've already signed it in blue ink. So I said, fine. So I, she didn't expect the offer to fly. I didn't expect the offer to fly. I was okay with that. So when she said she had good news and bad news and said, you got to need a blue ink, I went ballistic. I, I was shocked because I knew that meant that they had accepted the offer that we submitted. There was no counter offer. So I am in hog heaven. I don't know where I am right now. I am so excited. So definitely by January 31st, we will be living at Top of the World, Ocala, Florida, Senior Living 55 Plus Community. So anybody in the area that wants to come for a visit, feel free. I have one guest room and we have a, a den and of course the master bedroom. So it's Two bedrooms and a den, which could be used as a bedroom, but it really has, an, oh, one whole wall is open, so you wouldn't have all that much privacy. But but it could be in a pinch. We could put beds in there, but I, we, we will have a separate guest room anyway. I am beside myself. I swore that I could always live in this house, no matter what, uh, till the end. And I wouldn't move to Florida unless I could find some place I really like and get a house at least that I like as much as this one. And I found it, folks. So forgive me if I sound excited. I am. And everything just went so smoothly. Everything fell into place. So since I saw the house on Friday, we now have a purchase. Well, we'll we're buying the house. They've accepted our offer. So that being said, I hope everyone is happy and healthy. Peace, hugs, love, and God bless. And I'll be talking to you real soon. Love you all.